Have you ever wanted to deploy Llama 2 chatbots within a self-hosted, offline, uncensored, and private environment? It seems like a lot to ask, however, it's actually real. Introducing Llama GPT. Now, this is a project that has been released by Umbrel, which has been able to deploy the entire Llama large language model onto a self-hosted, offline, and private AI chatbot that has a secured privacy database, which doesn't even leave your device. Now, it has a really nice interface, and it's something that I'll be showcasing throughout today's video, as I'll show how you can actually install it, getting a little bit more information on what the actual product is, and getting some more ideas behind what the project is trying to do in the future. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As I talked about at the start, Llama GPT is a new innovative chatbot project that was released fairly recently and it offers many different features such as its self-hosted, offline, and private conversational experience that is similar to ChatGPT, all with Llama 2 model. Now, this is fully open source and it's uncensored, so it packs a lot in terms of its features. Now, one of its most defining features is definitely its privacy feature, and it ensures that no data ever leaves the user's device during the interactions with the actual application. And this is something that is particularly appealing for many of us users who want to prioritize our conversations to be confidential and secure and not sold to many of these third-party vendors who want our data for many different things so this is a really like big emphasis as to what they pitch with llama gpt now in terms of the language model llama gpt is powered by the llama 2 model but in terms of the different model sizes each of them have been specified with different fine-tuning methods such as the Llama 2 model has been fine-tuned with the news Hermes language model in which it has undergone 300k instructions with its fine-tuning method which has been able to showcase that it has improved capabilities with generating longer responses as well as reducing the occurrence of irrelevant and basic hallucination that comes out of the generation so this is to be like applicable with the 7 billion chat model as well as the 13 billion chat model now in terms of the 70 billion one you have the ggml llama 2 70 billion chat model and you can see that it has a great performance with all three so you're able to access all three of these different models with docker fairly easy which is something that we will cover in the next step of the video now to install this you will need a couple of applications so firstly you're going to need git which is an application that helps you clone a repository onto your desktop secondly you will need python thirdly you will need docker and once you have these three applications installed we can start on installing llama gpt and it's fairly easy to do so so what you got to do is copy this code right here and once you have that copied up you can open up command prompt so i already did the process because uh it is actually very hefty to run on my computer as it requires minimum 8 gb and yet uh, my computer has 8 but it's like struggling to run it right now if i click on this it's like lagging like heavily and that's because like you can just see right now it takes a couple seconds to like just go on the tab so just make sure you have at least 10 if you're gonna run this i'm just doing this to demonstrate how it actually looks and how you can actually run it but in the case of installing it make sure you have the minimum requirements for the ram that you have and once you have these requirements you can go on and start installing it it legit took me around five minutes so it was fairly easy to do so now what you got to do first is open up your command prompt as i stated paste the link git clone and then paste this link of the github repository now it will start cloning the repository onto your computer and easily with the next step you just go into the llama gpt folder by typing in cd llama gpt now once you're in the folder you just gotta simply open docker up so make sure the docker application is running which is why it didn't work here at the first time i actually inputted this prompt but once i had it running i simply ran it again and it was able to start up the application as it used docker to run llama gpt on my local host and once you have it finished what 
the installation as well as starting up the docker like application with llama gpt you can simply just go on to your local host to access it now i'm not going to do a lot of different things with this as my computer right now is struggling to handle this but you can see the interface is quite beautiful and you can do basically anything you can do with chat gpt but the great thing is it's a great way for you to access llama gpt which is an open source project and it delivers many different things that many people really want with large language models you have it uh, an offline version of this uh, llama gpt uh, chatbot it's self-hosted it's private and it's uncensored so you're basically having check marks on all fronts and it's very easily deployable and it's easy to use so what you can actually do with this is you can load the model which we have right here which is llama 2 7 billion parameter model you have the other models as well 13 billion parameters as well as a 70 billion parameter model and just one thing you want to know is you got to make sure you have the requirements to actually run it but what you can do is you can input the prompt which is a system prompt so in this case if you want the chatbot to act differently you can type in a prompt that will basically make the large language model respond in a certain type of way but in this case you can just simply ask it things so in this case i'm gonna try to attempt to do something so i'm gonna just say what is llama 7 villain let's see if it i'm able to input it okay good i was just scared because i thought it wasn't able to run the application but you can simply just ask it a question and you're going to be able to get a response but you can see in the demo video like obviously with my computer it's not going to be able to generate something really fast but at the demo video you're able to see that it's able to run llama gpt fairly fast if you would like to join our discord definitely check out the world of ai patreon page if you would like to gain access to the latest ai news definitely check out and follow world of ai on twitter and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell and like this video and check out our previous videos so with that thought let's get back into the video sorry my computer froze up again but this is what i was trying to explain you put in a prompt and you're able to get a response super fast as it's able to generate the response fairly easily and that's basically the gist of what i was trying to showcase in terms of the speed of how it's able to generate obviously with my computer it's not able to do this but if you have the right requirements you're able to generate responses fairly easily now on the left side you can see you can create a new chat you're able to load different chats and create a folder where you can put the chats within uh, you're able to clear the conversations like you can do simply with chat gpt you're able to deploy a new type of prompt and have a folder for these different types of prompts now this is simply a simple ui that you can utilize with llama gpt and it's a great way for you to access the llama model from this now i've heard there's a couple of things that they're focusing on the roadmap where they're trying to release different features such as having interactions with your past history now if you would like to turn off llama gpt you can stop it by typing in this command into command prompt and it will stop the docker from hosting the llama gpt on your local host and it's fairly easy to deploy as well as launching as you just need to simply put in these two commands to start it and close it now i highly recommend you do not check out the 70 billion parameter model if you do not have the right specs to do so as you will basically fry your computer to try running it so definitely do not even attempt to do this if you don't even have the required recommendations for the ram usage now there is multiple ways to actually run this application the best in my opinion is using docker they have a paid way to run it while using uh, the umbrella os home server which is something that is a paid product so you need to actually buy the product to actually host it off their home server but in this case the easiest way is running docker uh, there's another method which is kubernetes and this is something that's similar to what docker is and you're able to host it fairly easy with these two commands once you have it installed in basic terms it's fairly easy to access llama gpt so if you want to check this out i highly recommend that you check out these three methods not the first one in my opinion but the second two are good options to deploy it for free and it's basically it for installation as you're able to launch it fairly easy off your local host if you had the required ram that is needed 
and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it i hope you like the spotlight on this new application or this new gpt model in which you can access the llama 2 model fairly easily so thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day make sure you check out the patreon page so you can access our private discord in which you can access many different things such as our vibrant discord community a chance to influence a video topic the latest ai news as well as engaging in question answering sessions we're also deploying many different things such as partnerships with bigger brands so you can access it for free and these are many of the things that will be coming as the channel grows so definitely stay tuned with the updates with the patreon page now if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you subscribe turn on notification bell and like this video so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas